So the finale of Loki season two happened last night and it was amazing. I would argue it was the greatest ending to a Marvel Cinematic Universe project in the entire history of the MCU. And it makes me very excited about what happens next, except for Captain America New World Order. Apparently it's going through a whole bunch of reshoots because people hated it when they saw it. So the big question everybody's asking here is what happened? Like. What's going on? The last 15 minutes just kind of left people baffled. Okay, so here's the thing, right? As soon as he grabbed the universes, he started walking and he sat down in the chair, I immediately knew what happened. I immediately knew and I was there was I was like there was no way they made him that guy. But sure enough, they did, right? So here was the thing. Loki was set with an impossible task. Right, like after getting control of his time slipping, Loki started going back in time, different points along the timeline, trying to figure out a way to keep the destruction of the loom from happening. But then he realized there was no conceivable way of stopping it. So long as he who remains died, the inevitable logical conclusion was that the loom would eventually be destroyed and everything in existence would basically unravel, right? Except for quote unquote, the sacred timeline, right? But any other universe would basically cease to exist. And seemingly all of creation would cease to exist as we saw basically everything unraveling everywhere. So in turn, Loki had to accept the fact that in order to ensure the continued existence of creation itself, that he who remains would have to survive. But in order to keep him alive, he would have to kill Sylvie. And that's when he came to the realization, what if there's a third option here, right? One that hadn't been considered. What if I destroy the loom and replace it with something better? So Loki does that, right? Like he goes back to being the original Loki with just the baller looking outfit and the most dramatic moment ever, destroys the loom. And then as Sylvie points out, all the universes are dying, right? They're literally just ceasing to exist. So Loki seizes control of the universes, walks up to what was the throne of he who remains, sits on it, anchors the universes to himself, and basically restores them all. Loki recreates the multiverse. Here's the kicker to this, right? Rumors abound. A lot of people out there are speculating on what Loki has now become. The most popular theory out there is that Loki is now the god of stories. That's not true. If Loki were the god of stories, he would just rewrite the entirety of the multiverse. The reason being that as the god of stories, that's his power, right? In Marvel Comics right now, Loki has the ability to basically write anything he wants to, and it becomes true. So if Loki in the Marvel Cinematic Universe had now become the god of stories, he would have just rewritten the entire history of the multiverse. And like, that would be it. There never would have been a He Who Remains. There never would have been a War of the Kangs. It would have just brought an end to the multiverse saga over the span of 15 minutes, right? So that's not the case. There are people who are saying that he is the one above all. You could certainly make an argument there, but there's no reason to believe that's true because all Loki has done was brought the multiverse back. That's all he did here, right? He didn't create the multiverse, right? It's not as though all the things that existed blinked out of existence and Loki has now recreated everything, including Sylvie, Obi, Mobius, and everybody who was there within the time variance authority. So he's certainly not the one above all. He's definitely not the fulcrum, who's an aspect of the one above all. He's not the living tribunal. The person that Loki is now playing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is somebody you would only be aware of if you had read the one comic book that they appeared in, which was called Infinity Abyss, written by a guy named Jim Sterling. Loki is now playing the role of Atlas, the custodian of the multiverse. What does that mean? So in Marvel Comics, the entirety of the multiverse has a whole host of different concepts to it, some of which are very well known. Eternity, Infinity, the Living Tribunal, Galactus, so on and so forth. Some of them are incredibly obscure. Anthropomorpho, right? Like whenever cosmic entities appear in a physical form, it's because they go to a realm called the Dimension of Manifestations. Anthropomorpho gives them what's called an embody, i.e. a physical form they can literally put their essence in, and then they appear in their own particular universe to whoever it is they're supposed to be talking to. This even applies to the Living Tribunal, right? Everybody's shy of the one above all uses embodies from Anthropomorpho. But another really obscure character is the custodian of the multiverse. In Infinity Abyss, which was really just kind of Jim Starlin writing his own stories that existed out there within the multiverse of Marvel Comics, Atlas was introduced to us as a guy that anchors the multiverse. What did Loki do? He literally anchored the multiverse to himself 
to his essence, to his very being. It's tied directly to him. It was his power that restored the multiverse. And so the whole role that Atlas plays is to quote unquote, keep the multiverse from sinking into oblivion. No, it's not a direct reference to the cosmic entity Oblivion, but basically the way it works is that by whatever manner and whatever means, a universe will come into existence. Sometimes it branches off the main Marvel universe, sometimes it's always just been there. But whatever the reason is, it has its beginning date and it has its end date. Leaving out Jonathan Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers, the collapse of the multiverse, the incursions, Secret Wars 2015, and all that kind of stuff, the multiverse has a beginning and an end. Every universe has a beginning and an end. The role that Atlas plays is to keep those different universes from sinking into oblivion, thus reaching their premature end. Everything, all of creation is anchored explicitly through him. And much like what you saw in Loki where he's sitting on the throne that previously belonged to He Who Remains, it bears a striking resemblance to the throne of Atlas, right? He just sits in this chair and the multiverse anchors through him and that's it. When Atlas died, Adam Warlock and Gamora grabbed a young girl named Atleza and she became the new custodian of the multiverse. A custodian always has to exist there. Now within the MCU, you could argue that the name He Who Remains is interchangeable with the custodian. And in fact, you could go so far as to say that Loki is quote unquote, the new He Who Remains. But if what you're looking for is a one-to-one -one comparison, a character in Marvel Comics that occupies and plays the same role Role that Loki is playing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now, it's Atlas. He's really cool, incredibly powerful. This guy can do all kinds of wild stuff. Now, the real question that has to be asked here is, will there come a time when Loki will leave his role as custodian of the multiverse and either return to the main Marvel Universe per se, they'll kill him off? I don't definitively know. Truth to tell, if I'm being honest with you and a buddy of mine, Alex, kind of feels the same way and I feel like this is the prevailing theory that exists out there, that Loki's gonna come to the realization that in order for the Kangs to be defeated, a multiversal Avengers team is going to have to be created and he's going to quote unquote vacate his throne and then he's in turn going to go and form a multiversal Avengers team. The alternative is he will bring those individuals to him and he will say, you are now the multiversal Avengers. Here's everything that's going on. You guys now have to go deal with them, right? As far as we're aware, the TVA has no direct contact with Loki. So again, I'm really kind of excited to see what happens after this. Let me know what you guys think is gonna happen to Loki down in the comments. I wanna know your thoughts. Do you think this is Marvel just writing him out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? We'll never see him again after this? Do you think he's gonna return and then ultimately they'll kill him off? Let me know what your thoughts are. But with that being said, guys, we're gonna bring this to an end and I will catch you all later. Peace.